Okay, now we're going to do composite number three for skills. And that's when we're going to use a mylar strip. So we're going to work on number 24. So we need Mirror and Explorer. You'd use a mylar strip if you were using, uh, needing a mesial or distal filling. Anything in a proximal. We'll do the anesthetic. When the patient's numb, we'll use the high speed, slow speed, and the HVE. Then we're going to use um, spoon excavator, make sure we have everything already take on. And then we're going to use etch. And the etch is going to stay in place. You're going to let it set 10 to 25 seconds, depending on the manufacturer. And then the assistant will rinse it off very carefully. Now is when we're going to use the mylar strip. We do it right now so that we do not bond the teeth together. So the mylar strip is that clear plastic. It's essentially like flossing it into place. Now we'll do the bonding. Place the bonding with that little blue micro brush. And then we need a light cure it. So the assistant will grab the curing light. Okay. And then we'll use regular composite. And then I will need the plastic instrument. And this is where two-handed passing can come into play. They'll shape the composite where they need to, fold that mylar strip over the tooth, and now go ahead and hit it with the curing light. Good. You can remove the mylar strip, and now we're going to shape that tooth with using the high speed handpiece. So I'll use the high speed handpiece, then we're going to check the bite. If it's high, I'll go back to the high speed handpiece and check again. When we're all done, then we're going to use the slow speed handpiece with the sandpaper discs on it and go through the series of that to smooth and polish. The whole time you're going to be using the HVE suction. Then we'll do a final rinse and that is it. That is composite number three for skills.